I'm Charles Jones. And I'm Mike Chase. And we're partners in Primetime Hollywood Tours. Hollywood is where dreams are made, and we wanted to bring something better. The competition is tough, but the stars are always shining on Hollywood Boulevard. We give tours of star homes and famous Hollywood locations, and now we're going to give one to you. Hiring drivers here is the most difficult thing to do out of the whole business. All my drivers are characters, but David Horn probably takes the bag. You know, he drives, he sells tickets. Hollywood sign, movie star homes. It's hard to sell people tickets and to get them on board because there's so many companies here doing something. But once you get them on board, that is your product. That's why each one of you guys were chosen because of the way that you guys carry yourselves over all these other Hollywood drivers. Somebody in another tour company was going up the road and another person comes behind him honking the horn and they're yelling out the windows. That is not us. We are not that dirty company. We do a little history, but actually the most important thing, they're gonna have some fun. The Hollywood sign, yeah. You know, I've lived here eight years and I've never been up there. So and I've know. only seen it from like this far away. Wow. So you guys go up close? Yes, yeah, about 35 minute tour. Uh, you wanna be famous? Follow this man. <laughs> when you get start talking to him, you really walk away like in David Horn. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna be headed to the Hollywood sign. All right. Okay. <laughs> And when, when they're up there, I see their face kind of light up. They light up and they, you know, they, especially the kids, they run and I give them a little history. The sign sits on top of Mount Lee, uh, where it was first erected by the Hollywood Land Real Estate Company. Each letter is 50 feet high, 30 foot wide. Right now it's made out of Australian aluminum. Uh, before that it was made out of plexiglass and before that it was made out of wood. Was that when it said Hollywood Land? That's right. Uh, the land part was taken down in 1949. What about all the people who killed themselves jumping off the Hollywood sign? Yeah, uh, you probably heard about the story about uh, Peg and Twistle. In uh, 1932, uh, she jumped off the letter H to her death. She suicided. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. So this was before the fence. I'm taking it. Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, after her death, uh, they did put the fence up. If you would try to hike up to the Hollywood sign, a police helicopter will meet you halfway, and you can get your first time on television. Is there any threat of it ever being the sign taken down? In 1978, the original wooden sign had fallen apart. The two O's fell off. They were going to tear it down. Hugh Hefner considered the Hollywood sign to be Hollywood's Eiffel Tower. The locals started to throw a benefit concert they raised $45,000. A group of celebrities eventually chipped in $28,000 per letter to restore the sign. Hugh Hefner actually took care of the Y. Back then, they had 4,000 light bulbs, 15 watts, but those were removed in 1939 uh, because the Hollywood Chambers of Commerce uh, said it was too expensive. Uh, 15, 20 years ago, uh, they actually had to sign up for Halloween uh, because of the marijuana. Uh, Halloween? Halloween. Yeah, the last two O's was turned into E's. <laughs> On the Hollywood sign? That's right, that's right. Who did that? Uh, actually, it was some college students. That's awesome. When you turn the one corner going to the Hollywood sign and you see how big it is, um, to me, every time, it's like a little rush. It's like, wow. Yeah, look at it, man. It's how long it's been there. What it represents to people all over the world. And, and I'm a fortunate person that gets to live right here near it. And now I get to take people up there. If you think you had fun so far, wait till we get to the rest of the tour. Get your cameras ready. 